Oh, hey, what's up, Internet? Uh, I took apart this toy piano. Hopefully I can do something with it. Uh, I just noticed if I, I'm out here, the lighting is horrible, so I have to kind of lean in for the shot. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Let's just do this thing. So, I got a bunch of hot equipment. Uh, just laggy, lollygagging about. Um, let's go over what I've already done. I'm waiting for my, my epic uh, glue gun here to heat up. I work so, if you want to know the brand. Um, <laughs> so what I've done is taken apart this keyboard. Um, frame here so uh, and I'm soldering on two points right now just because I hate batteries and like the connectors sometimes are finicky I like to solder on a USB just so I can plug it in and get direct power to the the unit and I just take the already soldered points and solder on top of them and cross your fingers you know <laughs> If this doesn't work, I'm out three bucks, guys. Uh, got this at the thrift store, three dollars. It was non-functional when when received. Um, something wrong with the battery. Like one of the springs is a little too loose or a little too mashed up to actually work. So let's see if this thing's ready to glue gun me. Oh, what's going on here? Is this broken? Ah, it looks like my Google gun <laughs> is all gunked up. I'm going to try to force it through. Maybe that'll work. Heat up, you bastard. Alright, I'll just let it do its thing. It's taking a while to heat up. Um, and when I'm, I'm just going to put a little dab of glue gun here and glue gun there just in case my, my, my solders aren't that great and fall off. At least it'll hold a connection if you add some, some glue gun to the mix. But I think, jeez uh, Louise. I might have to retire this glue gun and find another one before carrying on. So it doesn't look like this glue gun wants to work. That's okay though. I think I do have a backup glue gun somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, here, put that. I think. Oof, I got it. <laughs> Just needed some some motivation to get gone. All right, so let's. So it's squirted the goo all over the place. So that's a big, big old glue glob here. Right there, okay. we're gonna do the same on the that one. Look, or that solder looks really weak. So I'll just reinforce it with some glue, and also where we drilled the hole for the wire. Let's not touch the hot glue. Not yet. Just trying to move this wire out of the way, though. That should prevent it from um, moving about and becoming unconnected. All right, I'm gonna turn this to low. Actually, I'm gonna plug this one. So I don't need the glue. The glue. Okay. Gotta be careful with that finger. I burnt it earlier. 
Um, so I'm gonna plug it in here just to see. Yeah, we got power without batteries. So that's the key. Um, should let everything dry, but I want to show you guys uh, the things. Oh my god, this this blue hot glue man, it's a hot mess. Alright. So yeah, we're powered, no batteries. And we got uh, if you're asking me what so that's oh man, did I really do that? It looks like I did. <laughs> oh no! I wired. Oh boy, that was a dumb, dumb move. Uh, so what's the easiest solution here? Okay, so the easiest solution sometimes is just to cut the wire and. Well, I can't believe I made that mistake. Let's not make it twice, huh? So we're gonna cut the wire and split it back together in a crude fashion. I did have a high tape, but I don't know where it's at now. Oh well, let's just do this. Alright. So we're gonna turn off a little bit of each wire here and expose the wiry bits. So let's figure this out. That's the way I need to have it before. Tape everything up. Try closing it. Seeing if it's gonna hit anything. Uh, so yeah. So this is the. Jeez. Oh so this is the front of the unit. Follow me. So that's fun. Um, we also have like a disco mode. I notice that when you hit multiple keys, sometimes it has an issue. Maybe on this side. I might be able to exploit that. Maybe not. That's violin. Synth noise, bass, music box, violin, trumpet, organ. I would like to retain all these noises. Um, all I'm really looking for is to add some hiss, some, some uh, maybe some static. If I can find a pitch bender, fine, let's do that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm looking for here. And I already found a couple just tinkering around, messing with, you know, some wire clippers or gator clips. And uh, I don't know if I'm 100% on them or not yet. All right, we might want to put some hot glue on the other side here. 
just to make it very, very secure. That's where I cut the... Yeah, my hot gluing is kind of a mess. <sighs> yeah, but you'll get better over time. Just keep on, keep on keeping on. Alright, I'm gonna plug that hot glue now. I don't actually want to accidentally touch it or anything. While I'm working on this. And it has songs too, look. So let's see if we can make this sound a little worse. I didn't even think about where where I wanted to essentially uh, maybe put switches. Let me break out my switches real quick. Um, all I need is one or two. I'm not going to find too many points on this. Um, the great thing about this one was these switches even work. You know, I like the little back and forth switches, but... Sure, go for it. Where the cookies go? I don't know. You gotta tell me. So let's do this out. Figure this out, huh? favorite gator clip. Alright, so I was playing around in here and I noticed there was some funky, oops. It will time itself out, I think. You said yes to cookies, right? Yes. Okay. Alright, so that I think I can get away with that hiss with playing the music too. So let's go for that. That sounds pretty okay. It's a good starting point. Uh, easy enough to access both of the points. Um, so let me just figure out what kind of switch I want to use. Right. Let's see if we can. Maybe. <laughs> can I gradually do this? Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. cheap switches. I guess this is the perfect time to be using cheap switches. This is the moment when I'm going to use cheap switches anyway. Right. So 
somewhere around these parts. I'm gonna organize what you see. Somewhere around these parts, I do have switches. Oh man, I have these big switches. I could add this beefcake. <laughs> I don't know where I'd mount it, but that would be pretty funny. I did see a switch in here. Hmm. Let's see if I can use this. Hmm. Let's see how bad we can get this thing. How bad can we make this thing sound? That's its little cut off. Get that idea. Just pop that. <laughs> so let's just, just try to solder it. See the points. I'm just gonna solder a little something around those two points, and I think I will use the switch. I like this switch. It's big. It's clunky. And it might be able to just. work the wire around these screws here and not even solder the second point. All right. I think I'm going to mount it. I think I have room to mount it right here, right next to the, the point. We'll need to drill a little hole to do so and use a lot more uh, hot glue gun. Uh, <laughs> so we might want to plug that one back in. Alright, so let's cut. Cut, cut, cut. Cut twice, measure once. Something like that. Twist it, give it a little twist so I can get it around the screw if possible. <laughs> the less soldering, the less chances you have of burning yourself, right? You can think of it that way, maybe. It'd be nice if I can do this one shot. I'll make like a little U. And then tighten up your screw. And hold it in place. And tighten it. Alright, so that is on there pretty good. So, so I don't have to worry about soldering that one point. I'm take this other little thing off here. Let me 
need for a little get this other one on here and then I'll solder those two little points. I might not do too much. Um, the more I metal, the more the boards tend to cave in on themselves, as you will. Wrap that around the other side. So I might do one or two bends after this, but not too much more. Just because I don't want to overload the board here. Just get that in there. There, all right. Try, try, try again, right? Let's try this one more again. Ooh, I got close to. Oh, uh, now I'm melting my own plastic here. Yeah, make sure your tip is somewhere. There's no plastic touching. I have it on a silicone mat right now, so it's kind of fine. But I just bumped this into it. <laughs> Doop. Get a better, better little hook here. Ah. I'm gonna have to get another little piece. That'll do it. So the second one, nice and tight. Um, let us, what am I looking for? This guy. Let me snip these, these guys. I'll try to adhere some solder to the ends. That way, when I do the connections on the actual board, it's a lot easier then trying to put the solder on the wire then I might have to invest in a new solder gun it was not um... oh hey what's up yeah, it's acting really weird when it, went, when it first started up today it didn't want to get hot and then the tip was like I don't know if I want to work today here we go. Making me a liar now. So just a little, just a little dabble, do ya? Put a little bit of solder on there, so when you get to the point, it falls off and goes into the board somewhere. Just a little bit. Oh, you can't even see my solders. Oh boy, what a horrible cameraman I am sometimes. You'll be able to see it when I actually solder it onto the board. Um, foreshadowing. That's me. Let me not mess this up. Let me drill a hole preemptively. That way, I can just put the piece through before closing it up. I did say I want to draw it somewhere here. Pretty empty here.
Alright, so it has to be big enough for this sucker. So it's gotta be pretty thick. Like a thick boy, and then I can tighten it up. It'll look somewhat professional on the outside, but it's gonna have lots of. Alright, so I'm gonna go way deeper. Change the bit here. A bigger boy. A bigger boy. These are step bits. Jeez Louise, what a mess up that would be. Still working. <laughs> okay, let me uh, drill it from the other side. Just so I know I'm not messing up the board. The board! The board! See if that'll fit now. Uh oh, that's what I was afraid of. Whenever you're tinkering. Okay, that's beautiful, just the way she is. Whenever you're tinkering, there's always a chance that you'll have to go find electrical tape because your twisty twat ties aren't working. That fits. That's good. Let me just I'm doing a little practice as well because I will be doing this to a. I'm gonna make my own. Beautiful, big old chunky boy. Now it won't even sit flat. Awesome. <laughs> right. Oh, I do have. No. Dude, I was looking right at the answer the whole time. I was like, man, I do have this. These are heat sinks, and that'll work. But I just put it back on. Ah, big dummy today. Oof. No brain cells. All right, I do need a lighter or a heat gun, so let me be right back. So let me cut this. I don't need this much. Maybe here. Let's just make that wire a whole lot stronger. Untwist the twisty ties here.
There we go. That'll hold a lot better than twisting the wire around. Alright, so let's center on these points. And uh, I think we're going to call it, call it from there. Um, I know I didn't do much to it, but the, the live streaming and the, the what have you is a bit much. Uh, it's not as relaxing. <laughs> it's like just doing it. I can get it just to hold. Just to, just to hold. Ah, I think I see one. Myself a little bit more wiggle room. Give it a sec. That's on. off. So that should be back to normal. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll probably be back at it again, adding more torches and knobs to this thing. Alright, peace out.